I believe actually, actually the night that I saw you at Tavern, we like saw each other in the bathroom. Was the night that like so? Let's clarify that. Uh, <laughs> no, like, like I just happened to see him in the bathroom. Hi everyone, welcome to the Boyfriends Podcast, where we help you find your circle and, and your man. man. Uh, today I am narrating this topic. Awesome. Uh, thank you. Uh, I wanted to talk to. I spoke to Jared about this about what things you want to come up with and lately for me has been um body image mm. about you know how we present ourselves to social media or like what how we uh internalize what the perfect body is um and the pressures of being gay in our culture for having the right kind of body right mm -hmm. so i wanted to just open uh, a conversation between the, the two of you of what that means for you, like having, how, what do you see, like when you look at yourself in the mirror, what do you see, do you like what you see? Are you presenting yourself in the most honest way to people? And mentally does that also trigger you to love your body? Like do you mm -hmm. love your body? Yeah, I would say I love my body. And in gay culture, the body image is like a big part of that and how you look gets more people interested in you. Yeah. I try to just post what I want to post, but not in like, as long as I feel confident about it. I mean like on social media? Yeah, on social media. Mm -hmm. And like, as long as I feel good about myself, I guess. It's, I don't want to, I never want to feel like I'm putting something out, focusing on my body, like making that. About? About, yeah, I'm just like, oh, this is a picture I like of me. Mm -hmm. So I'm not being like, oh, I hope people comment on my body. I think that's where I'm trying to get at. Mm. Okay. Because okay. I, okay. I feel like sometimes people post to just get that reaction right. rather than just be posting for themselves. It's interesting we talk about posting because yeah. I have made a conscious decision to like get rid of most of my thirst traps. <laughs> <laughs> on social on social on media? On social media, right. yeah. Okay. Uh, or at least on Instagram, I'll yeah. say. And I, I don't know. It's just like a part of me is just like, you know what? I don't really need anybody else's validation validation mm -hmm. at this point you know it's like it's one thing if i'm like at the beach yeah. or at the pool and my shirt is off right that's one thing but to like you can you can kind of tell sometimes when it's like a pose or yeah. something like you know you can tell when it's like specifically we say that for private friends <laughs> on, uh, close friends and close, close friends, friends yes. <laughs> right right but um you know i have i don't know i've had like a bit of a journey with my body image mm -hmm. where I am now I do you know I, I love my I love my body where it is now I do want it to get to a more uh toned and athletic type yeah I got not even at I guess just more toned period mm -hmm. um and maybe just like I would like to lose maybe like another 10 pounds and the way you see yourself, do you see that way for other people? Like, are you attracted to people that look like you, or? Yeah, I'm attracted to people who have the same body type as me. Um, I am more attracted to those who uh, are more athletic, for sure, yeah. um, or at least are have like a more lean kind of body type, you know. So, so like like you said, like arms and yeah. stuff, like that's yeah. like a big turn on for you. That's a big yeah. turn on for me as well. Yeah. Like arms and like you know a lot of people like to say they don't have a type right but they do that's another thing that i think is kind of bs yeah. oh yeah everyone type. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you don't necessarily have to have a type that you specifically like that's the only type that you yeah, go for yeah. right but you have at the top of your list there's an idea yeah. yeah 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 i agree with that like i say i don't have a type but it's more so like if i come across you and i'm like oh i'm attracted to you it's what's more your, i say more so that then what's, yeah. your what's your type i like same as you. I would say athletic built, but I don't mind if they're like bigger. What's bigger to you? Like, like dad bot, even bigger than that. Like dad bot or like, he like heavier. I don't mind that. Like Teddy Graham. Yeah, I don't mind that. Teddy Graham. Yeah, I think that's cute. Well, they have to have the arms to match the belly. Yeah, because if the arms are matching <laughs> yeah. the belly, I'm, and yeah. that's just me. That's like you know. Gummy bears. Yeah, because this one time this guy came up to me at Taboo. And he was, I was like, why is this man coming up to me? And I was like, oh, I'm very attracted to him. But sadly, nothing came from it. Like, he got my number. We didn't meet up that time. And then I tried to, like, be like, hey, you go out this weekend. 
And then I got ghosted. Oh, it was sad. It was fine, but I was like, damn. It he happens. was like, he, he was wait, like, he approached you? Yeah, he approached me. And he ghosted you after that? I think I don't know. He saw me at the bar. I was like, hey, I I think we've talked on like Grinder before. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, oh, like really? Like uh-huh. deep down knowing. <laughs> and be like, oh yeah, I remember you. And then yeah. we exchanged numbers. And then we we were just both on different schedules that night of when we got home and all that. Mm. And then the following Friday, I was like, you going now? And then I didn't get an answer. No. Yeah. Uh, that's how it happens. Yeah. But his, bo- his body type, uh, he was like built. And I was like, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I would so like I to see, see it. it. I would like <laughs> to see it. <laughs> I, I want to say when, like, when I was like younger, mm-hmm. always in my whole life, I dealt with like my body issues. Mm-hmm. Um, especially like I was, I went to high school in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Which is predominantly white, white boys, and I I think that also triggered like my sexual awakening of liking men or boys that I felt were just not me mm-hmm. or who I wanted to be. Right. And it was usually like a blonde hair, blue eyed guy wearing like an Abercrombie and Fitz shirt with like moccasins. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, oh, he's so like. It just must be so easy for him right. to wake up in the morning and feel like beautiful, mm-hmm. where like I always struggled with like my own personal image, and I feel that um, that triggered me to be attracted to men, mostly too. Say that again. I it triggered not triggered, but it led to me being more attracted to men. Okay. It's just like being in being infected with the male body and physique and features of a good-looking man. Okay. Yeah. Also aided my homosexuality. My personal issue with body thing is like, I always felt when I was first moved here to Philadelphia, I then realized there's a different types of group of different people, like like body types. Right. And what I never wanted to feel was, I guess, someone's fetish. Right, because that easily could happen. Being mm-hmm. like fetish size for your right, your and I'm like, so so I'm a thicker person. That means I should be with someone who thinks thick is nice or wants to be someone who's thick Mm -hmm. or maybe i go back and forth where like all right well the body type appeals to a lot of people maybe i should be this body type but at the same time i wake Mm -hmm. up in the morning i hate myself so what should i do and then i would go through the struggle of like dieting weight loss and like working out to get the body that i want but then at the same time like i don't feel like the average i guess run-of-the-mill gay man that, that has a good body and I feel that's more of a traction thing to a lot of people, some people. And um, I just feel that, like, as I got older and I found my self-confidence, I tend to now, like, how can I put this? There's just days I wake up, like, not liking who I, I see. Still. Still. Mm-hmm. There's morning, there's, I have good days and bad days. Mm-hmm. Uh, there came to a point where I stopped, like, putting our mirror in our bedroom. And I put it in like the guest room, okay. Because like I didn't want to walk by it. Mm-hmm. I hated the idea of like going clothes shopping because things didn't fit a certain way. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I still like struggle with that mentally, with like having body dysmorphia for mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. I still have it, and I don't think it's ever gonna go away. Right. What I mentioned, like what I mentioned before, being a fetish, like I don't want anyone to come up to me like, "Oh, I like this." Mm-hmm. I believe actually the night that I saw you at Tavern. We like saw each other in the bathroom. Was the night that like so? Let's mm-hmm. clarify that. Uh, <laughs> no, like, like I just happened to see him in the bathroom. Like, oh my god, I know you. No, like I like I was with a friend of a friend, and they used to be bigger in their youth, mm-hmm. and now they're just like they're like slender. Mm-hmm. And I remember like you know we went to dinner, and he was a nice guy, like great personality, like very nice until he got some drinks in. Then like his true colors came out. And then, like, we were talking, and he, like, grabbed my stomach oh. and, like, went like this. He's like, yeah, I like this. And I was like, oh, my oh, God. That's I was so like, uncomfortable. I was like, oh, my God. No. That felt so oh, awkward. I, yeah. I, I just, I like, I out. wanted to just die. I wanted to die. I wanted to just, like, I don't. I didn't, Did oh. you say anything to him after, the, after he, like, touched you like that? I said, I said, um, I put my hand on his shoulder. I was like, I was like. You know how that feels like, right? When you used to be bigger and you were probably fetishized and gawked at, whatever. Didn't feel good, right? He's like, yeah, like, why not do it to me? 
because now you're thinner than me. You have the way to, you can do it to me, so you can't do that. Do you think he actually liked or he just felt like he could take some of that frustration out on you when he did that? Could be, could be both. I, I, I know for a fact he likes bigger men. Okay. But it could be. I feel like there's a line between being attracted to something and then like, Fetishizing. fetishizing it yeah it's it's and it's very it's a very thin line mm-hmm. because there are a lot of things that people you know you could you could be attracted generally to like bigger guys you could generally be more attracted to black guys or something and mm-hmm. there's not be a fetishistic type of thing right it's just that's just kind of how your preferences right. are mm-hmm. but then it's really hard to kind of parse exactly where, where the, the line, line yeah. Of yeah. are. And I guess that, I, I don't know, I guess on some level that comes to like an individual experience like of the, the person, yeah. like to really understand where exactly they are on that spectrum. Right. <laughs> yeah. If it's a spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> I don't hard know if it's say. a spectrum. It might be yeah. a black and white thing, but yeah. Yeah. I used to, um, like when I would was single and I would date, like I always felt like I had to date someone my size. Right. I could never get the person that I actually wanted to be with. That it's I, like when you see those posts, uh, you'll see this with like in straight couple or like heteronormative couples. You'll, you'll see like a bigger woman with like a thinner guy and they'll be like, why are you with her? Like you, <laughs> you deserve better, like that kind of stuff. And that's mm. like always messed up. It's like they obviously have a connection if they're dating each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Or you see like always like the on like on TV, like the big guy with the, the smaller person. Yeah. yeah. Like what is she seeing him? Yeah. So you started you started this podcast asking us if we like what we look in the mirror. Mm-hmm. And I feel like our answers were that we do. Mm-hmm. How does that hit you when we say that? Your pers- my your your opinion of it? And that's like how do we feel about our bodies? Like how does that make you feel? No, that's about wonderful. It? I mean, I'm I'm glad you both love your bodies when mm-hmm. you see it. Sometimes I just don't like mine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, I mean I think that's honest, you know. I mean, I, I will say like I'm not, like, at the same time, like, I say that I like my body, but I'm still, like, trying to go to the gym and change it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But I feel like there has to be a sense of gratitude for where you are now. Um, Compared to what what I was when I was younger, yeah, I, I look a lot different than I was when, like, around the time that my father had passed away, I had gained a lot of weight. And major- majority because he was no longer... I was no longer under his supervision Mm -hmm. of maintaining my weight. Like when I was in high school and I would, you know, live with my dad, like he was making sure that I did never Mm overate. And I was like that girl in the TLC I'm pretty video where she's hiding her food underneath the tape, the bed. Mm -hmm. That was me. That was me going out at night, Mm -hmm. like when he was sleeping to go eat. Mm -hmm. And like, I thought that of a comfort thing. Mm -hmm. It was definitely comforting for me to just feel like, full yeah mm-hmm. and then my dad was very strict when it comes to image he was always a very well self-maintained man sort of like fit mm-hmm. like always looked very pristine and the minute that he i grew up into like a teenager he saw that his son was being a little sloppy he was like okay well let me change him a little bit mm-hmm. and like the diet pills came okay. the slim fast stuff came okay and i remember okay. just being so like hocked on those caffeine pills that it would just like keep me up until like 4 a.m. Mm. and I had to be in school at like 6.30, mm. you know? That's so it, it, was, it was rough. And then when the moment I, he had like passed away, like I was like, oh, freedom, I can eat whatever mm. I want to eat. Like his pressure, he, he had like a pressure on you. With that there was a pressure on me for sure to ma- to look a certain type of way. And I mentioned in the previous episode, like when his son said I was beautiful only on the inside, mm-hmm. like that triggered me, that stayed with me for a long, long mm-hmm. time mm-hmm. that I felt like I would never be just physically attractive enough yeah. for anyone yeah or even for a parent mm-hmm. so like you know i i go back and forth with it a lot i go to the gym now like i started this whole journey in july with a, a personal trainer online and like eating sort of better um i've gone off it for a couple of months now since the holidays but i want to get back to it it's like more mental for me to go than Mm-hmm. What I want to look—I don't have a—I don't really have a goal. What I want to look like. Right. Yeah. I just want to feel like good. Right. Yeah. And yeah. That's the more important thing. Rather and than then, having a right image goal, because I think that's what a lot of people do with working out. They're like, I need to look like this. No. But not everyone's body is the same. No, right? everyone yeah. everyone's body is different. And yeah. the only times you see ever like a thirst trap on social media or my Twitter is because 
I'm actually feeling it in that moment. I'm not looking for, I mean, validation is nice. Everyone loves to, to hear a good compliment. Do I need to be validated? No, a compliment's nice, but I do right. it because like, what I saw myself in that moment is what I enjoyed. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I like to look back on like either progress or what I felt in that moment, how that moment made me feel. Yeah. Right. yeah. And you want to post that because you want to celebrate that. You're feeling good. Yeah, I celebrate yeah. Body, body positivity for sure. Like I love like, anyone who wants to express it and be, mm -hmm. you know, have their bulge out, whatever, and be do tasteful things. That's their prerogative. I'm, right. I'm all for it. All right. for it. Yeah. Uh, I actually want to know, relating to that, like what as far as like we all watch porn here. Do we? Do we? Yeah. <laughs> what do you? What type of men do you like to watch? And what type of sex do you like to watch? Okay. So, and I'm like we're, we're tying this into body image, correct? Yeah. What turns you on? Well, wait. Why? Why does what? What type of sex we like to watch? What does that? What does that have to do with body? I'm just. I'm curious. I'm like, are we? Are you going somewhere with this? Yeah, because the type of the type of guys that you like to look at during sex is what kind of sex? Well, do you like? yeah, but type of guys you like determines the type of sex that you have. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying that when you look at porn, what yeah. type of guys are on the screen? When you watch them, yeah, that was one question, and that I understand. And what type? Asked. And what type of sex is? Like, is it like fet fetishy at all? Mm -hmm. like, that? Mm -hmm. like, is it? Because now, deal with, like, because now, because now we have body fetishing. We have now feeding culture. Oh yeah. There's yeah. people actually like feeding each other on camera for money and for for sexual kinks, like those kind of things. I'm okay. curious about. Okay. Um, I think for me, it's either like the super macho, muscular dudes. Or like the like slender kind of twinky guys. <laughs> it's like it's either one of either those. Either one of those. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I what I look for if I'm looking at anything. Yeah, mine similar. I don't go. F I don't really watch that much twink like porn because I don't. I'm not really into twinks like that. That's not <laughs> my thing. But I like more like an athletic build. I like this guy. I like being on Twitter to watch porn. That's like the most fun. Twitter is the new Tumblr for porn. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is. <laughs> and so many great things. There's this one guy. He has the fattest ass. His name's Chaos NYC on. Um, I think I. On Twitter. I think I've right. seen. I don't know. He you like that down? writing that down. His butt is so big. I just want like it's usually Chaos just POV. No C H A O S N Y. <laughs> but he, it's just like POV videos of people going in on his butt and like. That's a really nice spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I enjoy that a lot. Okay. Go <laughs> work. <laughs> no, work. 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 So wait, you're like, because you, you said you were more submissive. Yeah. But I like watching that because I'm like, I don't know. It's just something like it's so aggressive to watch. And I'm like, uh, that's a nice spot. <laughs> like, I can't deny that. I mean, it's funny because yeah. I get it. I feel like we're like almost the same like because we see yeah each other. we see each other <laughs> 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 we <did>. yeah. <laughs> uh, because it's like you know sometimes like i you know i do you know i i enjoy being you know submissive with right. with the right person um but if i'm like watching anything mm -hmm. like i'm Basically, I want to. I want to make that. sure it's something good. Yeah, so I want to anyway, see some. Yeah. I'm not trying to get all deep. I don't want y'all to know what I'm watching. Oh, you don't know what I'm watching. <laughs> it's some good stuff though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I, yes. What about you? Um, I like a good like boyfriend on boyfriend porn together. You would. I get see, that. I mean, by like something romantic. Uh huh. <laughs> it's just like you know they're they're casually just hanging out and they just get aroused by each other. I love that. Mm -hmm. No, I, that's cute. I get that. I don't I like, like the romantic. I don't like that lights, camera, sex. action, yeah. bullshit. No, sex. not just like you're not, not just some banging. Sean Coney's. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I like I like that something with a small like, storyline. I yeah. love vintage stuff. Really, I like, like amateur. I think amateur is the best. I love, I'm like, oh, this is real. <laughs> this yeah. is authentic. I love vintage <laughs> porn from like the '70s gay porn. Okay, okay, okay. that sounds like fun. But like body types, like types of guys. Um, most of, most of them are kind of built like me. Okay. Um, athletic and types. Athletic. Okay. Yeah. Um, usually a nice face. 
Oh yeah, a face. A cute, cute face. Yeah. yeah. And they can have they can look like a complete teddy gram whatever size, but they're like, like I think ad- they're adorable. So cute, the teddy gram, like like a, an adorable. I, I like I, I favor cute over really hot. I just like a, like a natural cute person. There has to be a cute quality in their face that I like pretty boys. I like so, yeah. pretty boys. I like pretty boys. I like I like a guy with a cute face. I like the rocket guys too though. Yeah. The like what? Into, I don't know. I like men in, pe- in general. So yeah. if you're a man, I like a little bit of anything. <laughs> if you're I'm a man. not into like tw- I'm not really into twinks like that. Twinks don't interest me. They will, even though people say <laughs> I'm a twink, but I don't identify as a twink. I don't really. I just feel like I'm myself. <laughs> oh no! I feel like when yeah. you get yeah, into your yeah. dominant era, yeah. when you when you yes. flip over, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the thing is, like, I, it's I know like, it's in there. I'm just like, I don't think I have the personality for it. I know. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how to go about it. Like, yeah. I can't. I would be laughing. I think the whole time being my, in my dominant era. You have a giggle, like, like, you have a giggler. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love good giggle, like during sex. I love fun. You gotta laugh. Fun sex, yeah. like after, it could be like aggressive. Sometimes it could be sensual. Yes. They're fine, and but the last part of it is just laughing mm. also Giggling. body contrast i think is like hot like it's like different bodies coming together and like yeah mm-hmm. you're experiencing something different rather but than like being I, the same. did you talk about laughing i and sometimes i laugh at the porn that i watch i'm like okay, yeah y'all are doing too much <laughs> like what makes you what <laughs> it's funny. like the when they're just like when they say like <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, oh, huh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, it's like that. Oh, F, all vocal. Oh, like, F, oh, yeah, F, yeah. Some, that's not, no, that's, like, that's not real. Up. That's not real. Like, some that's of y'all are real. scared to, like, moan in your I once ear. Had, I'd be doing this. I once had this guy, and he was just, like, he sounded just like that. I'm like, it's not even that serious. He's like, oh, my, oh, my goodness. Oh, gee, golly, willikers. Go I'm way like, over oh, the my top. I'm like, God. All right. It's I'll a end up just cracking up and be like, next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What ways do you find, like, what ways make you sexy? Like, what do you do that, what do you, do you wear certain things or to what makes, make, like, what, for your body? Mm-hmm. What makes me, what makes me sexy? What makes, what, what makes me feel sexy? Feel. Okay. I feel sexy when I am, yeah, when I'm, when I'm dressed well, mm-hmm. uh, you know, when my hair is done. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, um, a haircut will change your whole yeah, that's attitude. A, that's huge. When you are, if I'm ever depressed, it's usually because I haven't gotten a haircut in a while. <laughs> really? I swear, I swear I'm down bad when I'm like, oh, I feel like life's down, and then I get a haircut. I'm like, oh, I feel so much better. <laughs> I just needed like a pick me up. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm like, I'm feeling myself when I'm when my whole outfit's together and I'm yeah. looking right, and I just, you know, I'm looking in the mirror. I'm like, oh, I see you, boo. I see you. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know. So yeah, that's. That is that's it for me, and I guess also being on top of my stuff. Like if I if I set a goal and I I hit the goal, like I said, I'm gonna edit today, or I'm gonna you know do, I'm gonna go exercise, and I go and I do the thing, and I, you know, I accomplish something, then it just makes me feel so much better about right. myself. You know, for me, I feel my best. I love my legs. I've always I ran since I was like ten, so like. My legs have always been like the one part of the body. I'm like, oh, I love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like when I wear, when it's like summer, spring, I'm like it's shorts time. <laughs> yes, or like in the gym, I'll just be, I'll put on some my favorite like workout playlist, and I'll be strutting around and like these straight guys can't tell me shit. <laughs> and I'll just stare at them <laughs> with my with my legs out and like yeah. I like that. I feel, I'm mm-hmm. feeling myself. That's awesome. Yeah. That. Like that, or like like you said, like feeling good, like a haircut. A haircut can change you. Mm-hmm. That, or like when I'm dressed well. Honestly, working out makes me feel the best about myself. That's the one thing that I just like to work out to work out. Not yeah. really a goal, but I just feel so good. I spend close to two hours in the gym. Really? Yeah, yeah. I do too. And See, I, I, I'll do like 30 I, minutes. Two and a half. I, <laughs> I love, I love, I being love at it. The gym. But I also work from home, so it's like I need to get out. Yeah. That's my two hours a day. So I'll go, like, and Mondays I go with my one friend. We go to a spin class, and it's so fun. Ooh. Like the lady plays the best music. It's a bunch of like throwbacks or currents, and like spin oh. classes I do love. Yeah, they are. Fun. I've only done one, but oh. it was very intense. But I could absolutely see myself doing that yeah. again. Yeah, they're yeah. fun. I go to LA Fitness, so it's so unserious. You, okay, it's like everyone from like twenty to sixty. So yeah. it's like it's not gonna be too bad. But yeah. I'll do like that, or like I'll just take my time working out, like. I'll go on the like treadmill. I'll do weights. I'll stretch. 
just take my time. Mm -hmm. I, it's just so relaxing, and that makes me feel good afterwards. And like, yeah. I'm ready yeah. to. For me, it's more of a. It's a little bit more on the side of a chore right. or like okay. it's a hard something that you just have to do. Right. You know, I'm trying to I've tried to frame it to be a little bit more fun. Right. Like, oh, this is my chance to go see a bunch of hot guys in a room. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. You know, and this is also my chance to for me time and yeah. to meditate, put my headphones in, listen to music, yeah. you know, get the blood flowing. Do you ever get, get intimidated by people at the gym? I used to be like that. When I first was starting to do like weightlifting, I was like, I don't belong here. I look like none of these guys. And then I got it. My friend who was like really into fitness, he was just like, you can't go into that mindset. You just have to, no one's focused on you. You are, they're all focused on themselves because weightlifting is so egotistical. It is. Yeah. 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 I think that would be the same for me. I used to be there. I yeah. remember going into the gym once yeah. a couple years ago and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna just gonna do this, and mm -hmm. I was there for maybe five minutes. Got very anxious, mm -hmm. and I just got out and I just left. Yeah. I just didn't even do anything. I yeah yeah. I used to go like at certain hours because it wouldn't be crowded at all. It'd be dead. I'd be like, all right, this will get. And that's how I like kind of got into doing weights more because I was like, let me go when no one's around to not feel judged. And then slowly I was like, oh, I really don't give enough. Like I just yeah. 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 Especially yeah. cuz like you and I both work from home, so yeah. like that is my separation from yeah. like being at home. Yeah. Like I love working out for like yeah. two and a half hours whatever and then yeah. coming home to just reset yeah. and go like back to work. I talk to no one there. No and one. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I do, I, I do no that. gym friends. I do this. Yeah. Uh -huh. If I see them all the time, I acknowledge that they're there and that's it. I don't like kiki with them uh -huh. or anything. I work from home, but I'm it's Netflix for me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, like I will I have gotten like a little bit more regular about going to the gym, but it's it's a process. It's it like, it's, it's, I, it, at the moment, I feel like if I'm not with somebody who knows all the different things and knows all the, because I know that there's like, you have to watch your, um, the way that you're lifting weights yeah. or something like that. You have to write, have the right posture and all that. And I don't know all that. And I'm just like, I got too much other stuff going on to even right. worry about all that. Let me go do this, whatever this thing is. The elliptical. Yeah, elliptical. the elliptical. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. I'm like, I'm going to just get on this thing. You and know what, you know I'll what do you're that doing. for 10 minutes. I'll do some weights I'll, on the machines for mm -hmm. another 20 minutes, and then I'll go home. And, you know, my muscles are sore the next day, so I'm like, I yeah. need to have your workout. <laughs> I used to go in just to go do whatever I wanted to do yeah. without a plan. And then when I decided to, like, take sort of control of what, yeah. you know, of my body, I was like, you know, I should hire someone. Mm -hmm. And that's so what I did. I hired an online trainer. Um, he used to go to my gym. Yeah. And I would be – I would watch him all the time. Like, he's so, like – correct yeah. yeah and i was even scared to go up to him like excuse me sir um inquiring about your services whatever and he was actually like, like really nice and sweet awesome. um and i followed a, re a routine from mm -hmm. like on my phone just like one thing after another yeah. diet plan and like i would leave the first like three four months like i was like in control like on it like lost weight felt amazing mm -hmm. but it is like if you don't take it seriously enough like you can fall back mm -hmm. and it is like 80 percent diet 20 percent fitness because he was like you can work on the same body part every day it just won't change unless you control the eating habit yeah. and my issue is the eating habit mm -hmm. i have really horrible eating habits when i let off the go off the handle you let loose my thing is let loose <laughs> <laughs> my thing is sweets i love sweet i'm things. a sweet tooth mm -hmm. person as well yeah, i love same. cookies have you ever been like body shamed before? I wouldn't say I was a pr I was pretty skinny my whole like life, so my perspective is very different from others because I didn't really struggle with being like a bigger kid. But my dad did come up with a nickname as a kid. He would call me Stick Man, <laughs> and I, as a kid I hated it, but it, it was like all out of good fun because I was like so like like straight thin. Mm, mm -hmm. But like I never was like teased by anyone. Yeah, I do remember this one time. <laughs> I wish Renee was here because she actually did this. <laughs> we were at work. Wait. <laughs> oh no. And what? I had I had this sweater on and she was like, Oh Jared, you're really filling out that sweater. Oh <laughs> I was like <laughs> bitch. No, I didn't say that. But you know that me that like where she was like, ooh, double homicide. And mm -hmm. the girl's like. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, double homicide. <laughs> That's what, that was that moment. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that would be the closest. I would have come and, you know, I that summer I lost, what, 15 pounds afterwards. 
but not because of that. But, right. But it's, uh, but it's a funny I was memory. I was a little I was a little on the heavier side at that at that moment mm -hmm. uh, because it was like a newer job. Right. I wasn't moving around as much, right. and I had to get my eating habits in order. Right. You know because of a different environment. So, but yeah, no no real body shaming that I can think of. Um, or so what made you feel like just bad about a, a part of your body or something? I mean, I think most of my, most of the issues that I've had when people have made me feel bad about myself have been more personality quirks and stuff, or it hasn't, it hasn't been stuff on the outside. But I think because I've had a lot of judgment you know, growing up, that I started to kind of, there, there, I started to kind of not really appreciate what was on the outside either. Uh -huh. um, so there wasn't anybody that was necessarily saying that I was ugly or that my, you know, my lips were too big or anything like that. I think I started kind of downing myself because of a lot of the reactions that I got from other kids and stuff. And, mm -hmm. you know, the, my whole, my whole thing so yeah did you like when so you feel more like you feel hard like bad when someone like attacks your personality than your your physical appearance well i guess i mean if you wanted to hurt my feelings now yeah you i mean like you saying that i look ugly or too fat or whatever like no i don't so <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> so but you know so that's not really going to work but if you want to say that i'm being too much or i'm too sensitive or you know you're like because i'm always trying to check myself at all times and you know there's a lot of there's a lot of behind the scenes work that goes into what comes out of my mouth that when somebody comes back at me with uh you know, something negative to say about, you know, how I'm behaving or who mm -hmm. I am, then that's what really kind of like gets to me, I mm -hmm. guess. That that can that's it's a more easier way of getting under my skin, I should say. Now you guys mentioned like the types of bodies and guys you like. Does that also like do you also filter out everyone else when you're on the apps and stuff like that? No, I don't pay for grinder, so I do not filter <laughs> out. No, not filter not can you you can't yeah. filter out. If you pay yeah. for it, you can filter out body types. What? Yeah, yeah you can. Like the They're tribes or whatever, they have them li tri mm -hmm. listed as tribes or whatever. I mean, but you because you have yeah. the chat, you have the, you say you're uh, slender, muscular. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Large average. Or average uh, or something like yeah. that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So you can filter. Yeah, you what can you filter that see? kind of stuff out. Yeah. But do you do that anyway? Do you do that? No, I don't pay for it. When I paid for it, I did. You filtered what you didn't want to come across to come. I filtered mm. out bottoms. That was the only. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> he knew what he wanted at that time. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Like, it sounds it sounds horrible, but when you think about it, like my mentality was, if I'm going to reach out to somebody, I want to reach out for my top of the list right. type of people that I'm looking for. But if you are like, you know, the it doesn't mean that you can't message me. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean, you know, just because my filter is gives me a certain page right. doesn't mean that I that you're blocked like, It doesn't mean you're against, like you're going to go against them. Right. You're still like, open. If you're like I feel this person. I'm yeah. For it. Yeah. Yeah. I agree so with that. you'll give him a chance. Yeah. Absolutely. The only time if you do not send me a face pic and your blank profile, you will be ignored. Yeah. And most likely ignored no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now see I do have my I do have my preferences. So if yeah. you're um you know, if you're not if you're not within those preferences, mm -hmm. then no, I may I may not respond. Yeah. But I mean I think that everybody kinda does Everyone's that. that. Yeah. You know, so. Would you filter it though if you were on the app? I know. I, I was always put what I was. Okay. I never put like what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. I just put like whatever I saw on my like the tiles. Okay. So I don't know if I, I don't think I've ever did do that. Yeah, filter it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. But if you would message people, would you message a certain type of person? The cute face. Cute face. Cute mm -hmm. face. It, to me, cute faces go a lot long, a longer way for me than body type. 
Like I'd rather be like, oh, I think you're really cute mm -hmm. or like pretty. Face value. Yeah. Yeah. Another thing I think about with body image is I think hair for men, like with balding and all, because mm. I think that plays a big part into I'm body image. I'm very insecure image. with my bald head. I was gonna say, yeah. you can, you don't have to wear a hat every time you record. I do that for my own personal comfort. <laughs> yeah. And that's, okay. That's good. Yeah. Because I you protect I, yourself. Your space. That's it's like what you it's feel what I, yeah. I wear a hat most all the time if I'm not like at home. Even at home, I do it. Do you <sighs> think guys think that that's unattractive? Um, I don't like what I see it's in a either a thing. photo or a video of me in just like my natural state of being. Uh -huh. Like because I'm not completely bald and I have some shadowing is not like I'm not like, you know, uh, you don't Bruce Willis, that. completely bald, like mm -hmm. balling ball, perfect, right. not. So okay. like wearing a hat is just like my cloak mm -hmm. of just like cloaking my little Gives bit. Gives you your confidence. There's, right. there's I just wonder because I see a lot of guys who look good. Yeah. Bald. And I'm like, yeah. I think, well, I I think know, but it might be a personal thing is yeah. I don't look at like head shape and stuff like Same. unless it's like abnormal yeah like, I, yeah. I think most people look <laughs> good bald yeah, I, yeah. i'm like okay I, no. I i i if, if i have to not wear a hat when we go to like a social engagement it's like oh you my probably, like, I need to, like, like clean up my head just to i clean i i bake my head like once every other day it grows like i'll grow back tonight mm. it just happens that That's quickly annoying. it's yeah. very freaking yeah. annoying right i go through a lot of razors I believe that. But it's almost like it's like doing my hair. Like I have to do I have to mm -hmm. do my head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the only thing I can change about my face is like my my uh, facial hair or my brows. Yeah. So yeah. what else do I got? How do we get on this? Because you said I something. brought up how like with body image I think about like balding or hair men, especially gay men, I think we get sometimes fixated on our what's up top. At yeah. least I do because I I get paranoid. What about like about the body hair? Body hair? I so I was talking to this about Noah with Noel earlier. I get laser hair removal on my back and shoulders. Okay. That was my, I used my Trump checks for that. <laughs> 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 this is my little splurge. Because I don't mind my body hair anywhere else. I'm just like, I can't upkeep with that. Mm. And also, I remember vividly, I should not talk about this. This is about my dad. Um, but he has, he has a hairy back. And I remember him, my mom shaving his back down the shore. I was like, I don't want to be like that. <laughs> oh, I don't want to. That's wanna, love. I'm so sorry, dad. Yeah, they, they're been married for like 30 I years. I wish it was a little, a little hairier. You wish you yeah. were a little hairier? Mm -hmm. Just like more, like more in the chest area, yeah. I wish it was like more like Gaston. Mm -hmm. Is there like, I mean, like, do you guys have like a preference for hairy or hairless men? As I've far gotten as that more so. Like, people are like, oh, you're too hairy. I'm like, okay. Really? I like yeah. I like maintained, like maintained hair. Yeah. People are like, can you shave it? I'm like, I'm not shaving my. F <laughs> 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 but, um, I don't mind. I could go from hairless to like as hairy as I am. Yeah. I'm kind of the same yeah. way. I don't have a hair issue. Yeah. But I mean, a hair's I mean, gonna I'm be in my mouth hair. either way. I'm, kinda, I'm not super hairy. Like on my like I'm yeah. I'm hairy on my arms and legs. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't have an issue. I'm mm -hmm. like if you got, and I and I know a lot of people have issues with hairy men, yeah. and it's just like um yeah. I've def I've definitely felt that because they're like oh you're. Either people will be like kind of fetishize it and be like, "Oh, I love how hairy you are," mm -hmm. which th that does not bother me. I'm just like, okay, <laughs> you know, I don't have to shave. Okay. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, or they're like, "Can you shave?" I'm like, "I don't shave like that." Like I'll I'll give a trim, but I'm not I'm not doing all that. Yeah, when we talk about body image, like, yeah. is there anything that you would do cosmetically, like as far as like plastic surgery or? Pillars or anything like that. I want a cleft chin. You want a cleft chin. Like the butt chin? Mm hmm I like the little dimple. Yeah. I want one of those. Oh. Um, I, not routinely, but I've gotten, like, Botox and filler. Um, I've gotten, like, my, like, in between my eyebrows, I have, like, my deep 11s, my canyons. Uh -huh. I get them frozen. I get, like, Optus frozen. I would try Botox. I get all this, like, filled in so they don't have, like, deep lines. Do you get that filler in the uh, under the eyes? I have not gotten that done yet, okay. but I will. Yeah, I want to. Filler for what? Like, like here? You know when like, you get yeah. bags? Yeah. yeah if you get that's, do you know Karen Karen Huger gets that done? Okay. From Potomac. She gets yeah, yeah. under eye filler, too, yeah. like, so they don't look sunken in. Sunk got in, you. Right? Okay. 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 And like yeah. your laugh lines, I'll get them filled in. Yeah. I, I would get like Botox 
I don't filler. I feel like would look crazy on me, <laughs> but I would try it. But right now I'm like I'm okay. With no, you're yeah. fu- you're yeah. you're great. <laughs> I'm <laughs> aging pretty good for a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> I would get a jawline. A jawline. Uh, would you get the buccal like, fat removal thing? All no, the girlies are getting. That. I know. I don't <laughs> think I and like my cheeks are. But I think if I got a better frame. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. the cheeks themselves would look. I mean, I don't know. I like my cheeks. I, I don't need. I don't cheeks. need the buckle. Yeah. What do you, hey, the buckle or buckle? Buccal. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it. Me either. But yeah, but all the girlies I don't are need getting the sunken that. in look. No, because no. I don't know. That kind of scares me a little bit because I don't want to look like it looks a little um, corpsey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like corpse, very corpse bride. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah, I would get maybe. Either I don't know if it would be an implant. I would probably just do fillers at first because I know that those only last for like right. six months or so. Just yeah. to yeah. try it, it out. It depends on like your diet as well too. Like if you, oh, yeah. if like you, metabolism, right? Right. So if you like don't drink as much, you don't smoke, then those things tend to stay in your skin longer. Oh, okay. The other thing I think about with body image is like graying hair. I I'm starting to gray more, and I get self conscious about that. Grays. See, my family, like, oh, it doesn't look bad. And for a while, it was bothering me. And I'm kind of at the place where I'm like, honestly, it doesn't look bad. I didn't I, start graying till I was 30. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> so I still got, got like, some gray yeah. in my I like that here. on your chin. It's gray. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. I don't. I mean, I'm you okay don't? with it. But, like. I like it. I don't know. I just like I look at my my headshot and I was like, oh, that was that was nice. Yeah. And that was like the year prior to. Well, I know I was I wasn't twenty nine. I must have been like a couple years ago. But I shave. I used yeah. to shave all of it mm-hmm. off. Um, <clears throat> and now I feel like I have to like dye this right. down to stay youthful. Right. Yeah. And that's um, what sucks because I feel like in society in general when they see gray hairs they're like oh you're old yeah and all that and uh, it i refuse to dye my hair i'm like i don't really want to pay for it seasoned (laughs) seasoned yeah i'm just like i don't want to pay for it (laughs) okay so one one question that i had come up with was does how you feel about how you look match up with other people's reactions oh that's a good question yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't <know. laughs> Yeah, like I feel like I feel good about myself and I think people like what they see. Okay. I guess. Okay. I mean, are you asking if it feels nice or or, or am I projecting mm-hmm. what I if you don't feel all that great about yourself but somebody else is like you know, yes, queen. Oh. <laughs> slave, slave mama. I like I said, I only post when I feel in the moment that I wanna Right. Put it out well, there. Well, like not not necessarily even posting, but even if it, like you're in Comment person, in. if you're like you know out and about, and somebody like like and you would, I guess maybe you'd already answered this question because sometimes you'd be like, if the guy from across the room is looking at you, you'd be like, what are you looking at? Right. You know, that'll be your attitude. Is like, what is what are you looking at? Mentally, yes, but my face won't say like, what the fuck. Right. Right. I'd be like, mm-hmm. I get really like shy, gay, shy. <laughs> <laughs> I get really like weird about it, even with like. In person compliments, I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh, I just, I don't know. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I was like, thanks. Yeah, I say well, thank you. I, I don't know. I mean, I think <clears throat> I would offer to you that maybe that's just something you just need to own. Oh, uh, own what? Own, uh, own your beauty. Own oh. your like, own your sexiness. I, I think because I, I thanks. <laughs> I, see, see, thanks, thanks. Because I know you. Because I know, because I know that that comes from like. A humble, loving place. I don't know sometimes where people's intentions are. Uh-huh. So like I, sometimes, in not believing it my whole life, it's like it's still new to me sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like when even when my partner says to me like um whatever, whatever I'm, I'm like ah oh, shut up like uh-huh. I don't uh-huh. like I'm like get out of here. Right. I don't be like here yeah, look what you got blah blah. Right, right, right. I don't know why I have this. Yeah, no, no, it's a lot. It's a lot of brushing off a little bit or like I guess softening the. The blow, the blow of I love. Soften, <laughs> I soften the blow of love by just like dismissing compliments about myself. Yeah. Yeah. I think you, I would suggest maybe just saying thank you. Oh, I, I say thank you. Well, I'm saying without all the extra. To him? Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> say thank you, babe. <laughs> thank you, babe. I like, think, I, I do. I, I acknowledge, I was like, thank you. Okay. And, uh, look, I only say it because, you know, I, I, I feel like, you know, we need to we need to 
We need to accept own own our sexiness. We need to own our sexiness. We need to feel confident and about that's ourselves. When, and we that's when to, I do own. It's when I yeah. when I project in a way that I see myself and I'm feeling that moment. I feel it. Cause I'm yeah. feeling it. Yeah. Like all my posts are usually in my underwear where I feel the most sexiest. Okay. I love being in underwear. Follow I love at Chef Christian. That's not on there. <laughs> I was not on that one. No. <laughs> no, 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 not that. DM Chef Christian for the secret uh, no, it's, profile. It's, it's openly in my Twitter. <laughs> okay. It's in my Twitter. For me to answer that question, I could always. I already kind of mentioned, you know, talking to the matchmaker and saying, "Oh, I don't feel. I don't. I'm not all that pretty." And then he's just like, "Girl, please." When you have that realization, you're like, "Man, there were so many moments where I could have." had a better experience had I had a little bit more awareness of what I'm working with, basically. Okay. Um, Cause I remember I went to pride years ago and I don't, I was just so upset that, you know, my friend was late. I was by myself. I was awkward. And this guy, like I saw, I saw him before I walked up. I was like, oh, he's kind of cute. But I was just in my head. Mm -hmm. And so I went, I walked up and he was like working at like the hot dog stand or something. And I just like, mm -hmm. I grabbed He was a, working at the hot dog stand. <laughs> hot dog stand. Hey. <laughs> hot dog. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Um, <laughs> and so I was, you know, fixing my plate up and he was like, I just remember like all the, he the lines menu? he was throwing at me. And I was it just was like, the yeah, hot yeah, dog. Yeah, Cause I was just in my head and I wasn't giving him the time of day. And I don't even remember what that guy looked like. Right. And it's just like, don't have that experience. Like if I could, if I could help anyone like to not have that experience, please just like talk to yourself in the mirror. If you have to do that every day, just like tell yourself, you're sexy. Tell yourself you're beautiful and you're lovable and, you know, it might be a little bit awkward. I mean, but honestly, that is kind of what I do. Yeah. You talk to yourself? Mm -hmm. That's good. I do. I, I still have to, I still, I'm still like battling that of like learning to accept whatever people see in me, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I need to, I need to just like acknowledge that myself that like I am an attractive person and just keep repeating that to myself, listen to sure. myself, like talk myself to in a mirror. Yeah, other people were going crazy over your little, um, I could be dominant and, <laughs> and oh, my quiche. quiche at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, yes, please. I need a number. <laughs> All sorts of quiches. I just want to leave the audience with a specific message from each of us. If there's something that they're dealing with with their body image, what can, what kind of advice can we leave them with going into the world and trying to make connections with people and um, and I guess to feel they're most confident if they're dealing with some body image issues. In the, issues. In the moments that you feel like dark and upset about your body, um, try to remember when you did feel good, like the moment where you felt pretty or handsome or whatever. Um, my thing is to always go to going to the gym that makes me feel better or talking to someone that is going through a similar issue. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't talk about body issues to each other. They keep it kind of closed in. So like finding someone or, or a group that like may have the same issues that you do mm -hmm. mentally. Um, and like you said, like repeatedly, like repeatedly, like just telling yourself you're beautiful and <laughs> doing things that make you happy. Does like looking, a certain way doesn't have to make you beautiful by by doing something that makes you feel sexy like you do your achievements makes you feel sexy so mm -hmm. do that mm -hmm. i feel and i'm gonna take that advice cool yeah cool um i would say similar to what you brought up um do something that makes you feel happy if you're feeling down about yourself um that's healthy in a healthy way something that's going to benefit you that's not going to hurt you or, or anything like that and try to push yourself out of your boundaries if you're trying to set a goal for yourself with um, your body image mm. that could help benefit you in yeah. that way. Because mm. the, the hardest thing to do is pushing yourself out of that discomfort of if you're ready to do this. Yeah. The way you feel about your body is your business. It's, it has nothing to do mm -hmm. with, I mean like, and I, I, I mean that in the sense that you don't necessarily need validation from anybody else to feel sexy or to feel 
at your physical best, you know, it's really just about how you perceive yourself. And so if you're dealing with some of those body mm -hmm. issues, that's um, don't look for outside validation to feel better about yourself. Take a moment to take some of the advice that uh, some of our my co-hosts here have uh, have given us and and try to work on your yourself and your self-esteem a little bit. And when you get out into those places, I'm gonna use one of my lines now, <laughs> get out of your head and into the moment, okay? Because yeah. when you're in your head about your body issues, you can't really communicate with people, you know? Or you're not, you're, you're feeling like a little, uh, even if you're feeling like this and you're walking up to somebody, if I'm like, hey, how are you? <laughs> hi. You're like, hi, exactly. See what happened? You can't, you can't come with that and you gotta be like, What's up, man? What's going on? How are you? You know, it's like it has to be an open, warm confident. energy, confident energy. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, that is what allows people to feel safe around you. Because if you come up like this, you don't know whether this person is going to shank you or whether they're just going to <laughs> be annoying and all up under you for the next 20 <laughs> minutes because he's awkward and he found somebody who can finally talk to them. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah that would be my advice. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Thank you guys for, you know. You're welcome. Absolutely. And it was good, uh, good, good yeah, conversation. Good, good topic. I, I'm, I'm curious to see what kind of feedback we'll get from it. Absolutely. Subscribe, follow, share, yeah. do all the things, Thanks. and uh, yeah, you can you can lead us out with our with our final line. If you have yeah. no one else, you have us. <laughs> no, I need you to do that again.